you know, the project that we're working on now with ZFS on object storage has just been like incredibly fun. And I feel like we're, we're taking ZFS to the next, like we're giving it some more legs that'll, that'll keep it relevant for another decade. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily like, it it isn't something that's going to be used by every ZFS user today, but it's going to enable a lot more ZFS users in the future by uh, making ZFS integrate even better into the cloud and bring those capabilities of you know snapshots, compression, all that stuff, you know, to object storage and uh, and, and good performance to object storage. And um, I've really I've been having a blast the past year uh, with the team developing that and designing it. A lot of the code is actually in userland in uh, we're writing it in Rust, so we all like learned Rust, which is really exciting. It makes me never want to touch C again, even though it is my job to do so. So. <laughs> I'm going to do it. But, uh, y- you know, Rust, it just feels so like, it feels so comforting now that I've learned it. it the, the the safety of it feels very comforting and, and it makes the dealing with raw pointers and C everywhere feel scary yeah. as it should be. I would say like, it should feel scary. It is hard. Like, you know, you got to get everything just right with C in order to not have bad bugs. That's, that's how it's, it's more work, but it, it, that's fun work too. I see ZFS continuing to be relevant because we're adding these.